A lot of people have been asking me lately whether or not they should quit Last Day on Earth. And more than that, I've noticed that the views on Last Day on Earth videos are down for almost all the YouTubers. Now some of that might be because of the holidays, but I've definitely noticed that a lot of players lately have been disenchanted with Last Day on Earth. Guys, that's okay. It's a game. If you're doing something that's not fun, stop doing it. One of the main things I've learned in the last 20 years of gaming is that you shouldn't play a game until you hate it. This isn't your full-time job. If you don't finish your acid bath before the other guys do, you're not gonna get fired. If you're doing something in the game that is not fun, or at the very least, if working hard in the game doesn't leave you with a feeling that you are glad you did it, then stop doing it. It's a game. It's supposed to be fun. Now on the other hand, I'm not telling you to quit Last Day on Earth. In fact, I would strongly advise against it. Kefir hasn't even created a game yet. They have created a beta version of a concept that is designed to be an MMO. And in the last seven months, that beta concept has attracted 70 million players without even using advertising. That's not something that just happens in this world. There's a lot of trolls out there saying that Last Day on Earth isn't going to try anymore. That they're just making money off the beta and that they're gonna stop. I'm sorry, but that is literally the dumbest thing I've ever heard. That's not how life works. When you create something that people like, aka 70 million people start playing your game in seven months, it inspires you to do a better job. I started this YouTube channel five months ago and when it started growing really quickly, it encouraged me that people liked it so much that I actually have spent every dime that I've made on equipment to do a better job. Kefir has told us that the majority of their staff are working on getting multiplayer ready, which makes sense because the entire concept of this game is based around multiplayer. The fact that it's taking a long time means that they're not just copying some other game's work and that they're building something from scratch using the same vision that inspired the beta. Which brings me to the copycat versions of this game. Some people have been saying lately that Jurassic Survival is doing better than Last Day on Earth based on the fact that Jurassic Survival is coming out with more updates for their beta version. And while it's true that they've come up with some cool concepts that might have a lot of potential, they have not yet been able to make a single thing that is truly unique. For example, Mad Dog's Arena seems awesome, but it is basically copying PUBG's concept while using Kefir's game coding. It's not actually multiplayer, and the bots, in my opinion, are extremely predictable. Jurassic Survival has made no mention that most of their staff team are working on developing a multiplayer system, and historically, copycat games never succeed in the long run because they lack the original vision. They do what players ask them to do, but also historically that is not what makes a great game. The fact that Kefir has not changed the recipe for level 3 walls tells me that they know something that we don't. They aren't letting us design the game with our complaints. They have a vision of what they're going for with the game and they're going to work towards it whether we like it or not. That vision is essential for making a great game. It doesn't necessitate that it'll become a great game. They could still botch it up. But based on what they've already made, I would say there's a pretty good chance we're going to like what they create. Now for those of you who haven't been playing that long, this video isn't tailored for you. There's a ton of stuff for you to do. Go get resources, build an amazing base, defeat the challenges of the bunker, and get filthy rich. This is an awesome game and you're going to love it. But for those of you who have been playing for 4-7 to seven months and are starting to feel disenchanted with the game, I have two options that I'd like to propose to you. The first one is what I'm currently doing. I play only the parts of the game that are fun to me, which sometimes isn't that much. From watching my videos it might seem like I'm playing a lot, but I'm actually playing very little. I don't get three airdrops every day, even though it's easy loot. I don't do the bunker on easy mode, even though it could get me tons more guns. And I definitely don't do hard mode, even though I haven't completed my acid bath. Because partially, I don't have a lot of time. But even if I did, I don't really want to. Because I've already done those a hundred times, or it just feels like work. Right now, all I do is kill the blind one every two days when the bunker resets, and I occasionally go to the rest stop event, if it sounds fun. I only do what is fun because it's a game. And I play games when I want to have fun. If there's nothing fun to do in Last Day on Earth at the moment, I play a different game. In fact, my next video is probably going to be about a game that I think you guys should check out. Now some of you may not have enough space on your phone to fit Last Day on Earth and all the other games you want to play. Which brings me to the second option that I'm proposing. If almost nothing in Last Day on Earth is exciting to you right now, then I would suggest watching my video on how to make sure your data is saved, and then after following those steps, 
uninstall the game. Then I would suggest following Last Day on Earth on Facebook, or finding a YouTuber like me that does short videos covering the updates as they come out. You're not doing this to see if an update sounds fun. That would just be annoying to keep uninstalling and reinstalling the game. You're doing this to stay informed so that when the game is released, you will still have a competitive edge. Well, that's it guys. I hope that helps. If it did, please like and share this video so that others can see it. See you next time.